Ah, Wagwan, yo. It's that guy. Yeah, now you know, dreadlock reviewer, not nationer. We out here doing these videos on the daily. Something like that, anyways. Um, been on a bit of a hiatus. Um, I was playing a lot of Nintendo Switch lately. Um, I had gotten Luigi's Mansion 3. So I just finished beating that game and it took me like 18 hours to play it. I don't have my stream set up. So I couldn't have done a gameplay or a game, a walkthrough of the whole game. So I just kind of did that on my own, but the first game I've actually beaten offline, one player all the way through. Weird, I, I normally play online games. Third, third what's up is that, uh, you know, my birthday is coming up in a few weeks. Not that it really matters. I'm not one that's crazy for celebrating. Um, that day, but I just want to let you guys know there probably will be a live stream of some sort happening that day because there's nobody I'd rather spend that day with than y'all. And what else? Yeah, I got this reaction video here that I'm trying to work on as well. So I'm just trying to get back in the swing. I'm just trying to get back in the swing of doing more uh, daily videos. I definitely know that it's needed here for the lock community. So um, don't worry, they are on the way. They are here right now. This is why we're here watching this and just trying to give you guys like the vibes, you know, the vibes, the lock culture vibes. Uh, wanted to give anybody inspiration, dedication, um, education, dreadutainment on the topic itself, in the culture, right? So, I'm gonna keep on editing this. I'm gonna do a little bit of a reaction to it right now. I just wanted to upload this to give you guys a quick update, let you know what's been going on with my life. Um, just letting you guys know that I am still here. Uh, what you guys can expect on this channel is, of course, more cannabis-related stuff in terms of growing, in terms of cultivating, in terms of paraphernalia. Um, I did receive a copyright strike this morning actually on a video from the Herbie's Seed Shops talking about how to buy cannabis seeds online, um, which is, isn't a good look on the channel to have a community guidelines strike because you know if you get three of those your account can get deleted, terminated, gone. Uh, and it kind of sucks right now because I am working on another um, promotion video for Herbie's seeds at the moment, but I'm kind of wary now that like that kind of content might give me another community guideline strike if I work with them again. So uh, I'm debating what I'm really going to do if I'm going to upload another video about their seeds or not. Um, but I, I, I probably will do it. I mean, why not? Why the fuck not? Um, so yeah. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna go into editing this little reaction video because my old reacting computer died I've been doing things on my old laptop right now. It's a little bit slower. It's a little bit more painstaking, but it does get the job done and uh, What else I want to say is that I got new merch on the way we got some dreadlock tams uh, in production right now and um, Some dreadlock sleeves as well so if you guys are interested in anything, you can hit the link in the description to the merch shops and help a brother out in these Corona pandemic times and buy some merch. And, uh, and um, that, that's, really, that's really it. That's all that I'm at right now. So uh, that's, that's life. And I hope you guys are living well. I hope you guys are Growing your locks still hopefully more of you are getting into the free form movement as well If you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, you know what it is not nation and as well on reddit.com Slash not nation. We're almost at a thousand followers over there uh, Really engaging lock community over on that side It's a really good place to send your photos your videos your questions because we are all talking about locks there all the time uh, and my locks myself, um, they are in need of an update. They are about six years, six months. Like this could be about six and a half years right now where I'm at. 
And you know, I get curious. I get curious about like, I wonder what a loctician would do to my locks if I went to go see them. You know, I'm just, I'm not gonna do it, but I'm just curious at what they would do because I've seen a lot of transformation videos like the one I'm working on right now where they just like take freeform locks and they transform the shit out of them. Um, yeah, obviously I'm not, I'm not about that. I, I like, I like my locks how they are, but they are definitely frizzy and turning gray. And this area on the front, I forgot I had autofocus here. Uh, still really loose, you know, and I don't plan on doing a damn thing about it. I actually really like that loose hair at the front. Kind of gives it a really, uh, a much more natural look. I'm gonna put the autofocus on here. It gives it a much more natural look, which I really like. Um, the other day I was, what was I doing? Working out and it was really humid. So I sweat a lot in my, in my routine. And I had noticed like a lot of buildup of sweat on my top of my head. Um, that wasn't really drying up that fast at all because it was so humid out. So what I ended up doing was, um, I went to the bathroom and I just like put water, cold water, like right on my scalp. And I just kind of like went like this with cold water all around my scalp. And I uh, did a little bit of a padding dry with a towel and let it air dry all day. And what it actually did was help alleviate some of that sweat buildup that was there. Instead of letting it dry up and kind of turn into that white flaky buildup, um, I rinsed it out just without even having a shower. I just used my hand and some water and I rinsed out at least like 70% of it. I wouldn't say like I got it all out like I would have if I just rinsed it thoroughly with a hose or a shower head or something, but just a handful of water and like rubbing it around my head was enough to help alleviate sweat buildup. And I realized like that's what a lot of people will get when you're into sports or ath athleticism and you have locks and you're sweating every single day and you don't rinse it out, it will build up into like that white little substance. Sometimes it goes gooey because it's like the dry skin flakes as well as the sweat gets built up in there. But it is manageable to get out. And uh, I feel like similar to salt water, if you leave it in, you will notice like a bit of a smell. If you go like this to your locks, like right around the roots, kind of like rub it, activate the terps in your finger and smell it, you'll kind of get the smell of your own hair and what aroma you are giving off. This is what I do to my buds when I'm growing them in the tent. I do the exact same process to see how ripe they are. <laughs> um, but anyways, enough of, the, enough of that, but you know. Uh, I give you guys a shot from behind right now. My locks are getting mad lengthy. You know, they are getting so long. Um, 